One thing about prospecting and mining is you end up with buckets and buckets and bags full of rocks everywhere. If you don't do anything with them, they don't mean anything. And also, the longer you wait, one, two, three, five years down the road, whatever you wrote on that bag, it may not make sense to you anymore. It says, Middle Test Pit West Side, or something cryptic, and I don't remember where I got it. I'm on a mission to find that mother load. I want big, big swaths, big piles of ore, big piles of gold. We have quartzite, some manganese, and iron staining. Here you can see a beautiful example. This surface is encrusted with perfect quartz crystals. They're actually growing and terminated. These are pyrites pseudomorphed into hematite and the vugginess is where the sulfides leached away. We got some quartz crystals growing. Uh, this is typically the kind of stuff I find gold in and that's in this material as well. Well, I got that 29 and a half pounds of ore concentrated down to just this right here. We're gonna do a large bulk assay on this material to see what kind of ounces per ton we are getting. See, and when I tap it like this, I'm driving that fine gold down to the bottom of the pan and I'm raising the light blonde sands to the surface. See that? Pan those off, resettle, bring the blondes back to the surface, pan it off. All right, let's take a look. That rock kind of looks like it has some gold on it. Ooh, I'm seeing some gold. All right, we got gold, guys. This is good stuff. See all this in the top? That's gold. Below it, some of these more silvery pieces are pyrite. Wow, we got one piece right there. You see that? All right, we're getting ready to ask this material from this here shaft. We got everything prepped ready. We're gonna mix up some fluxes, load the crucible, and get it smelting. All right, we're gonna mix up the flux and the concentrates. You can see the concentrates here on the bottom. We're gonna get all that nice and homogenous. Crucible slightly preheated. We'll load up the collector in the bottom. And pour in our mixture. I'm also going to add an iron bolt here. Load the furnace, fire it up, close the lid, and get smelting.
for the smell the tanks frozen again so I'm gonna do a real quick tank swap flux was froth and it expanded like from here to here close to boiling over flux was attacking that bolt and I decided to just let it keep going we're gonna try to eat it all up once it's calmed down again we're gonna give it a pour Let's see what we got. This pile of slag might still have an iron rod in it. Ah, there she be. It's pretty glassy down here. We definitely got a mat layer. That's probably all that iron. Hopefully a button at the bottom. You can see we got a little bit of collector blobbed right there. Some blobbed right there. We'll get that off. Top came off real easy. Yep, there it is. Got a nice pile of iron, definitely from that magnetite and also from that bolt. You can see here we got our button on the tip. 